Hi, folks. Dr. Bob McCauley. People are out there attacking spirulina again, and here I am to defend it. People are constantly attacking uh, mainly spirulina, but sometimes chlorella. Uh, the first thing you, you always know when they hate spirulina and chlorella because they call it pond scum. Because then that, doesn't that sound great? Pond scum. You know, it's the most two most powerful foods in the world. Why would you call them pond scum? I mean, we could think of like really bad names for all sorts of foods, um, but you don't, you know, you don't dismiss them with names like pond scum. Well, a guy that does that on a regular basis is Dr. Andrew Weil. This guy. So he invented something called integrative medicine. So what integrative medicine is means I'm a medical doctor, and then I'm going to I'm going to also promote natural things, okay? So I've kind of got one foot in this world and one foot in that world, all right? I think pretty much you're going to be discredited and dismissed in both worlds. That's my opinion. But this guy has made an entire career out of inventing this thing called integrative medicine where he says, yeah, I'm, I'm a doctor, but I believe in natural things too. They really don't go hand in hand at all okay medicine is in that direction and health and all the natural stuff is in the other direction that's always been that way but what he he does is he he fights he, excuse me he cites a um an article a study um about some bat the chamorro bat or something and they he ate they 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 ate the cyanobacteria and then this led to lou gehrig's disease which is called uh, ALS, okay, and basically that just eats away at your body and your muscles and just, uh, it, you know, so definitely a very dangerous disease and you don't want to get it. And, you know, eating certain types of cyanobacteria can be very dangerous because what you're trying to do is you're trying to monitor for BMAA um, and microcystins. So these are really dangerous, um, you know, neurotoxins and uh, they really will wreak havoc on you. Well, there's one type of uh, cyanobacteria, I'm not going to say the name because they like to sue everybody all the time. So I'm just going to say it's a cyanobacteria and it comes from a lake. I would never eat algae um, from a lake. Actually, it's not a, it's not an algae, it's a cyanobacteria. There is a difference. Like chlorella is a, is a, is a, uh, a plant. So that's an algae. But spirulina is a cyanobacteria. So it's really not a plant. It's a little half animal, half man type of thing. People always ask me, should I eat uh, a bacteria? Isn't that, if you're a vegan, should I eat cyanobacteria? Well, um, I eat it. I eat it every day. And so I, you know, I, I promote spirulina. And then a guy like this who's a medical doctor, um, he comes along and he just, with the wave of his hand, dismisses it. And then uh, the most powerful food in the world spirulina and chlorella. This is my most popular seller, my biggest seller. And with a wave of his hand, it's just don't stop taking this stuff. And I would just want to say things that come out of a lake, they're really not carefully monitored. Whereas spirulina is grown in a controlled environment. We grow this stuff in, in little ponds that circulate. And uh, we monitor very closely for conditions and make sure it's always producing the right kind of spirulina. And we are constantly monitoring, monitoring the, the system to make sure it doesn't produce, uh, you know, micro, microcystins or BMAA, any kind of toxins you might find in there. So it's in a controlled environment. We always know what we're, what we're doing and whether, you know, if something's going wrong, we're going to know it right away. If you got things coming out of a lake, well, a lake pretty much does whatever it wants to do and you can't control anything. So my whole point of this, uh, this has gone on, we had a movie called, the, the, uh, a documentary called The Toxic Puzzle. This, this was extremely boring um, and it was, um, you know, it was well narrated and everything. It had Harrison Ford in there. And um, they do this entire uh, documentary, and you go back to look at one of my other videos about it. They do this entire documentary, and then at the end of it, they say, look at this, here's some spirulina. And this is spirulina. This this could have BMAA, and this could have microcystins, and you could you could die from this. Well, that's ridiculous. It it's it was came out of a big uh, bottle. In other words, this has been tested. So here are some of my testings. I mean, uh, you know, here are my microcystin uh, tests that I've got. These are just a few of them. We we test for it all the time. So the idea that you're you're allowing dangerous things to come onto the market. And you need to avoid them and because you're going to get Lou Gehrig's disease. I wouldn't sell anything that has any controversial aspect to it. 
there's certain products that I've looked at through the years and people said, boy, you should jump on this, you should sell it. If I'm not really 100% sure this is a health product, I don't sell it. And I'm one, this is the first thing I ever found, you know, 25 years ago, it's almost 25 years. I, I was a vegetarian for 18, and then 18 years, and then I found out about spirulina. I started taking it. I said, this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. I felt fantastic. And then I discovered chlorella. And then guys like Wheel, with his integrative medicine message, comes along and says, hey, you don't eat that. We got a study over here. Uh, Dr. Greger did the same thing, exact same study. They, uh, they call it pond scum. People love their pond scum. Uh, they, they say you can get just as much uh, nutrition from kale. No, you can't. Are you kidding me? And the nutritional um, you know, content of both spirulina and chlorella, I mean, these are incredible powerhouses. I mean, you look at something like kale or wheatgrass or you know, barley grass, they're, they're just, they pale in comparison. There's no, nothing compares to spirulina and chlorella. They're the only two foods you could eat exclusively and stay healthy. But don't tell that to Dr. Wheel, okay? Don't tell that to any of these guys. He's still on a meat diet, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. He's got restaurants. He cooks all the foods. That's a medical guy. I'm a health guy. And that's why I don't look like this guy, Dr. Wheel. Spirulina and chlorella, two most powerful foods in the world. Don't listen to doctors give you health advice about any, anything. They never know what they're talking about. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time. People love their pond scum.